what is the best way to always make surface area really easy to do? Okay. Step number one. Well, I, I hope more people are like you, my friend. Three easy steps. Step number one. What? Yeah, yeah, I usually don't say sides. I say what? Faces. Because basically, every 3D shape has what? Has a bunch of faces to it. So just make sure that you either do not forget a face or what? Or what? Add a face. Exactly. So you do not undercount or overcount. Because then your answer is either going to be le uh, so less than what you want or more than what you want, OK? By adding an extra face or a missing a face, OK? Number two, find the what? Find the what? Number two, find the area. By the way, today's lesson is still doing all of these again. The only difference is now your areas are not like this. Look, your areas are not placed on a piece of paper like this. Your areas are what? Made up in a 3D like this. Your areas are stuck like this, not on the plane itself. OK, so find the area of each face, which means just go back to the area equations we learned before to find out the area of each face. And number three, what do you do with all of the results? You add them up. By the way, good news, everyone. We're always going to be what? We're always going to be? Sorry, what? We're always going to be what? Adding. We're never going to be what? Subtracting. Okay, You subtract only when you do what? When you do this stuff. You subtract when you do this stuff. When you have a bunch of faces, you have to add them up. OK? OK, everyone, let's go with the first shape. What is the first 3D shape that we have? The box. OK. How many faces does a box have? Everyone, go ahead. Put six here. Everyone? La, la, la. Uh, I, need, I need you to focus. How many faces does any box have? How many? OK, where are they? Front and top and right and done. Six faces. How about a what? How many people actually know how the pyramids of, like the Egyptian pyramids of, of Giza look like? How many faces do they have? OK, by the way. Remember, in, in grade 11 math, even the bottom is called a what? It's called a, well, you can call it a side, but I'm also going to call it what? Face. So everyone, eyes up, eyes up here. How do I sketch a pyramid? My way of sketching a pyramid is always this. First, I sketch the what? By the way, it could be a square or it could be a what? A rectangle. But is this a face or more like the base? Everyone, this is the base. And then, look, everyone, eyes on the screen, here. Eh? I put, what's so special about this point? This, this is the what? The peak or the apex or the top, the top of the what? The top of the pyramid. And then what do I do? What do I do? Connect it with four corners. So here is one corner. Here is another corner. Here is another corner. And here is another corner. OK. How many faces can you count? Sideways, how many? Four. Where's the first face? How does the first face look like? What shape is this? No, no. This, this, right here. Triangle. How about this face, the front face? How about the back face? How about the left face? How about the base face? Either a square or a what? Or a rectangle. So how many faces are we counting? Four on top and one at the bottom. Yes? No, see, that's the thing. Uh, no, it has a, okay, it's called a triangular pyramid. You're absolutely right. But we know that most of the time when you see it, when you think of a pyramid, you think of what? You think of something like that. But you're not wrong. You're absolutely correct. It just needs a what? Another name. Okay, everyone, eyes on here. How about a what? Actually, you know what? Let me, uh, let me show you some. Look. Let me sketch. All right. Everyone, let's sketch a 10. OK. What was the first face I sketched for the pyramid? Did I sketch the sides or the base? OK, everyone, look. Base of a 10. I'm going to choose it to have a rectangle base. OK. 
How many entrances, entrances usually does a tent have? One or two? It usually has two, a, a front entrance and back entrance. So, but both entrances look like what? Triangles. So I'm going to say right here. Is that making sense so far? Okay, then what? I guess an another one. By the way, should the two heights be the same? I mean, otherwise you have a weird tent, right? You want to have a tent that's level with the ground. So here's. Can someone count how many faces we have here? All of them. Including the bottom. How many people say five? What's the first one? The first one is the what? Is the? This is the first one. Where's this other two? By the way, you can count them in Which ones? So the tilted side here and the tilted side here. Three, three so far. What are the last two? Front entrance, back entrance. So also what? A tent must have how many faces? Five as well. How can, so okay, can someone tell me how does a cylinder have only three faces? Ben? Uh, okay, so that, so, okay, what did you say, one at the what? So everyone, look, we're always going to assume that our cylinders are what? Closed from the top and otherwise, if, if you have, okay. Oh, perfect. You can give me the, the, the pipe, the pipe. Thank you. Is this a cylinder, shape-wise? Is it closed here? Is it closed here? So how many faces does it have, really? Yes, Caleb. You have what? But is it a straight face or a curved face? Exactly. If it's closed here and closed here, what shape does this face look like? How about this one? So you have two flat faces looking like circles and one curved face around the whole thing. Yes. Again, you can make a pyramid to be what bigger than a tent, depending on how you play with the dimension, right? But you're not wrong. In general, that's usually how they end up being. OK, everyone, let's talk about the first shape. Go ahead. Come on. You need to put all of these on the shape. Go. So the one that's going up is always going to be called height, because that's how high is it, it is from the ground. And then the longest side is called the length. The shortest side. On the base side, like here, for example, is the width. And you know me, I always use what usually, um, not always, usually, uh, uppercase, like capital L, capital W, capital A. OK, we just said that we have six faces. But there are good news. Are all the faces the same? No, no, focus what I said. Are all of them the same? Are some of them the same? But OK, no, no, wait, wait hold on. You answer me. If all the faces, OK, only Rahad. If all the faces are the same, what do you call that shape? Uh, it's a square if it's 2D. What if it's 3D? OK, OK, wait, wait. If I give you six, six squares, and you put two here, two here, and two here. Cube, everyone, only a cube has what? Has what? Six faces that are all the same. But a box at least has what? Is this a cube, everyone? Are all the faces the same? No. This face is wide. This face is small. This face is kind of like this one, but I can't guarantee until I measure things, right? OK. Can you tell me what face is identical to the top one? Can you tell me what face is identical to the back one? How about the left one? Perfect. So do you really need to calculate six phases or just three? Just three. Take the top and multiply it by what? You got now two. Take the right and multiply it by? 
take the front and multiply it by. Great. All right. So here is. Oops, sorry. Go ahead. So, as you copy, I'm just going to read so you subconsciously know, keep hearing. So, six faces. The good news is, I don't care what box you ever talk about. Here's another box. This is the only way to make a box. You make three faces and then you double each one of them. Done. So, each two opposite sides, sorry, faces, faces. Each two opposite faces, I don't like saying sides, because sides could mean a side of a, of a boundary, like of a perimeter. Face is, face is very clear. Face is something that's like 2D, are equal or identical. Top face equal bottom face. By the way, all of those faces look like what? Just, just the faces, not the whole thing. Just the faces. Say it. Uh, again, maybe if it's a cube. But in general, what's the general case of a square? Rectangle. So. What's the area of the top face? Everyone, here's the top face. Length times. There we go. Can someone tell me what does? Again, no problem with me. What does time 2 mean? Yeah, I'm basically just accounting for the what for the other one. Perfect. How, yes, Christian? Yeah? Yes, exactly. I'm doing the areas, though. Yeah. How about the right face? By the way, which one is the right face? It depends how you look at it. You could call this the right face, or you, or you can call this one, depending where you're standing. Who cares? Exactly. You can call it the side face. Obviously, it's height times width or width times height. Also, as Pierre said, you double it because you know you've got another one on the other side. And then finally, the back face and the front face. Well, I guess it's safe to say this is the front because we're all seeing it from here. So this is the front. So it's L times H. L times H. And what do you do with all of them at the end? You combine them by adding them all up. So total, can someone tell me what does SA mean? What's today's lesson? What's serve? Yeah, always everyone from now on. Capital S, capital A is what? Just A by itself is what? There you, and area is not surface area. Area is of this guy. Surface area is of this guy. Okay, 3D. By the way, question everyone. Is this really two dimensional? Is there anything in the universe that's really two dimensional? Everything is what? But when something is super, super, super thin, like a what? Like a, can we assume it's two-dimensional? You got it. So there's nothing really two-dimensional, especially if you zoom in. But if you look at this, you're like, come on. This thickness is so small compared to this width and to this length. Okay? Again, math is based on assumptions just to make your life easier sometimes. Okay, everyone. I don't mind if you use this equation. Can someone? I'm going to teach you this towards the end of the course. Does anyone know what happened or what did, what, what, what do we call the mathematical step that we do if you go from here to here? What do you call it when you pull things out and make a bracket? You, yeah, indeed. We actually did it in grade 10. Whoever did grade 10 with me last year in quadmaster 4, uh, it was towards the end, but it still got, got done. I'll give you a hint. It starts with F. Factoring. How many people heard of factoring or get the factors? Yes. When you start creating brackets, that's called what? Factoring. That's saved until the end of the course. Don't worry about it now. Here's the good news. If you plug in the numbers here or here, you get the what? Do you think you get different or the same answer? You have to get the same answer because they both give you the total surface area. Okay? All right, come on, come on, copy, because I really want to get to the second page to do problems.
Okay, let me go to the, uh, to the pyramid shape. Again, don't worry, it will be uploaded. Actually, I think it's already uploaded. Maybe, I'm not sure. No, 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 sorry, sorry, it's not. I'm, I'm, my bad. Okay, everyone, again, if you didn't finish copying, that's fine. Pencils down, let's look at the pyramid. A nicely sketched pyramid, not like that one I did on the board. All right, go down here. Oops, my bad. How many faces? Again, full, including the base. Okay. Can someone tell me what does the base look like? The base. Uh, okay, again, it might be a square, but just to be general and safe, I'm always going to say what? What's the non perfect square? Rectangle. And by the way, most of the time, I'm going to show it to you to look like a rectangle. Like one edge is shorter than the other one. Okay. Tell me what the four faces look like, the four side faces. All of them look like what? Triangles. Who remembers the area of a triangle? You just did a quiz on it. What's the area? Hmm? Base times divided by. So that means what? If I can know the base of this guy and the what? The height, the side height, can I know the area of this face, like if I want to paint it? How about this guy? Okay, I have a question for you. Are all the four faces different? Just, just give it a look. Are all the four? Okay, sorry. Are all the four faces the same? Only if the base is a what? Is a square. Everyone, only if the base is a square, all the four faces are the what? But I'm going to make the, the base not a square, which means they're not all the same, but are each two opposite ones the same? Yes, they are. Everyone, this front face, look, everyone, this front face is exactly like the same as the what? Front and, and the back face. Yes, look, look, everyone. Length, length. Uh, what was your question? I want to hear it. Someone else might have it. Oh, I could. And by the way, you do have an example like that. Yep. But always teach what? Always teach the special case or the general case? What do you think? Always teach what? Special or general? Always teach general because then it covers the special, not the other way around. Good. Good question. Yes, I want that. All right. Let's, everyone, which one is the easiest face to calculate where we only have one of it? The four sides or just the bottom one? Let's do the bottom one. Yes. Okay, everyone, let's do the bottom one. By the way, what does the bottom one look like? What shape is it, the bottom base? Rectangle. What's the area of a rectangle? Look, literally, length times. Uh, length times. By the way, uh, Peter, you're not wrong calling one of those width or length height. But, but that's if you look at it this way, for example. But the problem is now, when you say height and you talk about 3D stuff, it has a whole different meaning, right? So I'm just making sure that when you say it, you actually don't confuse yourself. All right, let's look at the equation. There we go. Okay, so let's look at this, come on. Five faces, one rectangle base, Five triangle faces. Sorry. One rectangle base, four triangle faces. Okay. The base is just LW. Done. That's it. Length times width. That's the base of the, of the, on the ground. Front triangle is equal to what? Back triangle. Okay. And both of them have what area? Both of them are L times, I called it height one. Height one divided by, yes, divided by, divided by what? Two, because it's a triangle. You con don't control that. You have to. Guess what? The right triangle is equal to the what? And instead of length, they have what? And they might have different heights, like when you slant them. So instead of H1, I call it what? And it's still divided by two. D 
Do you see what happened when in the twos when they got multiplied together? Everyone? What happens when we multiply two up here and two down here? What happens when we multiply? I don't know if you, I mean, come on. When you multiply. And, so, yeah, two divided by two is what? Or math teachers say what? They cancel each other out. Cancel, 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 cancel. So we just have LH1. Again, I don't want you to memorize this. You're always going to have this with you, which means I can't help telling you how to plug the numbers in. You need to know the whole process, especially some bed mass stuff. Okay? So, so far, so good. Two shapes down. We still have two shapes to go. I'll give you one minute to finish copying this. By the way, again, these are your notes. You don't have to say triangles. You can just say what? Tries. Oh, by the way, get in the habit of your notes being your own code. So go do abbreviations all the time. I used to say to students, uh, don't worry about you know someone else copying your notes and not liking how you write things. They're your notes. If they wanted to write, they should have come to class. I had a student once I remember, 12 years ago, actually 11 years ago, in my first like when I, yes, I'm seasoned. Um, I, he was taking physics with me. It, it's insane. Uh, it was uh, back at Weeble, so the courses, it was like quadmasters, seven weeks, three hours a day. Three hours, maybe if he writes this much in his notes, that would be it. The whole time he's, watch, he's just watching and listening. Like he just had that ability of absorbing on it. So after the first couple of weeks, I just, you know, went to him and was like, are you okay? You're barely taking down any notes. So he goes, oh, I, I just learned by purely focusing on watching. I'm like, okay, I've heard that before. Let's see how the first test goes, 100%. He got 99% in grade 12 physics. But that, no, no, here's one thing about him. What he said, he knew that the system worked for him. Many people say, oh, I just learned by watching. And they don't take notes, and they go home, and they forget everything, and they're like, oh, I, yeah, no, no, I'm smart enough to, you know, like, keep up. No, you're not. I'm not. Okay? Imagine if you ask that person for his notes. His entire notes for the entire course could actually be fit on these two pages. He only wrote what he needed to. That's it. So I'm always telling you, your notes, don't feel bad about someone else not liking them. They're your notes. Yes. No, 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 no. Width times height two. I'm just calling one triangle has height one. One other triangle has height two. Not squared. There is no square here. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Good for him. But you know what? I'm so thankful that no one else asked him for his notes. Because he would get nothing. He would get a napkin with a couple of things on it. Okay, everyone, what's the third page, Peter? Sorry, what's the third shape? Tent. We just sketched a tent. So let's look at it and now put numbers on it. Tent. Okay. What do we need to know about the tent? Well, we need to know the what? The what? Yeah, so by the way, everyone, listen up. Some people call it the depth because it's how deep you can go into a tent. Okay, let's call it length. Okay, you also need the what? You also need the what? You also need the what? Yeah, why? Well, you need the length and the base for which face? For the what? For the bottom. You need the what? You need the length and the what? For this tilted side? And for this tilted side. And then you need the base and the height for the what? For the what? For the what? For the triangle entrance and the triangle other entrance. You see? They're still the same ones we learned before. It's still the same as these. I'm just putting the whole thing together. Okay? How many faces again? Five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Okay, so we have, uh, but what, everyone, what's the good news? Is the back entrance and the front entrance the same? Great, so I just need one of them. Are the left side and the right side the same? So I just need one of them. And then I just need what? One ground bottom bay. Okay? There we go. Go ahead. Five faces, one rectangle base, plus two triangle faces, plus two rectangle faces. Again, look at this equation, everyone. What happens to two here and two here? They cancel out, so you just get LB, that's the base area, uh, B times H, which is the technically both front and back faces together, and then two times LS, which is the right side and the left side double. So that's a very easy equation once we know all of these numbers. Sometimes they add another shape. By the way, can someone else think of another 3D, 3D shape? A very interesting 3D shape. I'll give you a hint. What was the fifth shape we did in the areas? Shape number five. The only one that did not have any straight edges. Uh huh. So, so we did circle. What's the three-dimensional version of a circle? Uh, uh, which is what? A sphere. What's another name for a sphere? A ball. Some teachers add what a sphere to this list. I'm like, you know what? Up to cylinder is enough. Uh, in grade 12, Mr. Fonseca will teach you the geometry of a sphere. Yes. Just come. Okay, everyone. Last one, and let me just stop copying now. Let's just go to the cylinder. Don't worry. Don't worry. It will. It. It will be it will be posted right at lunch. Don't worry. All right, here's the equation. Everyone, I'll just go here. There we go. Come on, go ahead. Here it is. Three faces. 
three faces, two top and bottom, identical. So good news. You just need one of them and then you double it. And then one curved face. One curved face. Okay? So, come on. What's the top circle uh, area, which is also equal to the bottom circle? See, everyone, just to, again, you don't have to memorize, Peter, but I always memorize this way. Instead of the two being here, where do you put it? On top as a power. Yes. Uh, so it's what? It's pi r squared, but you need to double it because you've got two of these. And then the curved side is equal to what? As Ben said, 2 pi r is the circumference that got, um, what's a good word, opened up, times the height, which is still the height of the what? You did not change the height of the cylinder. It stayed the same. OK, let's, uh, let's flip the page, everyone. And let's apply all of these equations. All right, go ahead, flip the page. OK, so I'm going to go to the blank version here. Copy it. Copy. Paste. Oh. Okay. What shape is that? Oh, oh, I was about to say, can this be a cube? How many people say this cannot be a cube? Cannot. Uh, ben, why not? It looks like it. Listen up. Yes. Are the sides all the same? Done. You see what I mean? A cube is a bunch of six identical squares stuck together. Sadly, they're all rectangles. OK, everyone, so go ahead, box. Uh, let's use a different color, box. OK. Which one should be the length? Come on. Which one? 13. Go ahead, everyone. Next to 13, or yeah, next to 13, put length. Which one should be the height? Height. Seven, because it's obviously height. It's above the ground. And obviously, the last one is? What is it? If there's length, there has to be what? Width. OK, let's plug the equation. Who can tell me what the equation is for the surface area of a box? Come on, surface area of a box. Sure, go ahead. Anyone? SA equals 2. Yeah, LW plus 2. LH plus 2. Yeah, you just have to do three things. Ah, oh, there is a plus. Everyone? Equal. Plus, plus. Okay. Can I just plug in the numbers now? I have nothing else to do. I need to plug in the numbers now that I know where they go. All right, let us uh, let me zoom in so you can see well. OK, let's do this. Equals, oops, sorry, equals. Two, what's my L? Come on. 13. Uh, my width, six. OK, plus two. Uh, length is 13, height is 7. OK, I don't have enough space, so I'm just going to do another line here. Plus 2, uh, width was uh, 6, and this is 7. 12 times 13, I got it, 150, uh -huh, 6, plus 14 times 13, 169 and 13, 1. Uh, 82. Two times six is 12 times seven, 84. So apparently the final answer is 422. What? What's this? Which is, what's what? Yards. And because it's area, even though it's surface area, it has to be what? Thank you. You see the word area, you put a square. All right. That's it. Go ahead.
What shape is that? Second shape. Cylinder. Go ahead. Cylinder. How high is the cylinder? How high is that cylinder? 10. So go ahead and put uh, next to the 10, just put H. Is that 7 the diameter or the good radius? Perfect. So we are good. We don't need to do the trick dividing by 2. Uh, so this is R. OK. What's the equation for the surface area of a circle? It's probably the longest one we have. Here it is. Everyone? Here it is. Oh, sorry. There we go. Everyone, I'm going to use this one. What's the value of pi? The one we're good with? 3.14. You stop at 1.4. No need to go crazier than that. So go ahead. SA equals uh, 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Pay attention. The r here is squared. The r here is not. OK. Let's plug the numbers in. Equals. And I'm going to make it thinner. Equals 2. By the way, if you want to put the multiplication sign instead of a bracket, feel free to do that. Feel free to do that, absolutely. Um, what's the R? 7 squared plus 2. Let's just plug it in right now. OK, 7 squared, I know this one, 49 times 2 times 3 point 307.72. OK, let's multiply those four things together. Four three nine six. Okay, just add up. Uh, what's the unit we have here? Is it centimeters or inches? So centimeters squared. I know that right away. All right, let's add. So plus. Seven forty seven thirty two. What is that shape? Is that a pyramid? It's a what? It's a tent. By the way, can someone tell me a major difference between a tent and a pyramid? I'll give you a hint. Look at, look at the top. Look at the top of the tent. How is the top of the tent different than the top of the pyramid? Ben? Yes. They meet at what? One what? One point. Those are meeting in one point or one line? You've got yourself a sharp edge. You got it. OK, how many faces does this have? Five. What's the equation for a 10? So let's write 10. Everyone go ahead, write 10. Oh, let's, sorry, let's put the numbers. Um, which one are you going to call the length of the 10 or the depth, the depth of the 10? How deep is the 10? How deep is the 10? 10. So go ahead, everyone. This becomes L. What else? Come on. L look at the uh, equation for the tent and tell me which one is the height. Height. The two. It's the height from, literally, from the ground to the, as Ben said, to the edge on top. Two. So that's H. Can you tell me what do you call the three inches? Hmm? You could call it width, but apparently I think we called it just the base because it's technically the base of the triangle. Do you remember what we call this? Side length. Side, not height. Sides are tilted. Sides are always tilted. OK, what's the equation? 
Let's look up the equation. Just give me one second. Uh, this was the tenth, yes. I think this is very easy to use. So everyone, LB, BH, 2LS. All right. Uh, in red, SA equals, I'm going to zoom in. LB plus BH plus 2, what? LS or BS? Sorry. You're right, LS. Okay, uh, do this real quick while I talk to Mr. Roberts. I forgot that he actually wants to talk to me. Uh, sure, yes, what's up? Oh, surface area. Surface area. All right, let's uh, plug the numbers in. L, what's L? Mm, 10. B, 3. Okay, that's easy. Uh, B, again, 3. Height, mm, 2. Plus 2. What's L? Uh, 10 again. And S is, uh, by the way, that's 2.5. We're going 2.5. Obviously, not 25. Nothing is big enough to be 2.25 there. All right. What do we have? Well, that's easy. That's a 30. That's a 6. And that is 2 times 2.5 is 5. And that's 50. So the final answer is 50 times, what, sorry, 50 plus. 50 plus 30 is 86. In what unit? Something squared? Hmm? Inches squared. Please remember, even though it's surface area, it's still an area because you're adding up a bunch of faces. So it has to be squared. Many people think that surface area is in cubic because it's 3D. No, no, no. That's volume. Surface area is still a bunch of areas. Okay, let's do one more, everyone. Just one more. What's the only shape that we haven't touched so far? Pyramid. So everyone, let's, uh, let's look at the pyramid here. How many pyramids do we have? We have, th we have three pyramids, everyone. We have one pyramid here, one pyramid there, and one pyramid here in the middle. Can you tell me, everyone, can you tell me what's the difference between that pyramid and this pyramid? Anyone can see a, a major difference? I mean, they're still both pyramids. But can someone tell me which one is an easier one to, uh, I know? To tackle or to look at. Which one has uh, nicer numbers? Sorry, the left or the right? You said the what, the left? Okay, question everyone. What's the base here? What's the base here? A rectangle. Do you see, do you see what I mean? This one has a square base. It's easier. All the sides are the same. This one, this one is a rectangle base. Each two sides are the same, but not all four. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I want to do the rectangle one. Everyone, I want to do that one. Okay, let's, uh, let's put some numbers here. What do you think we're going to call the 9.6? No, not side. Say again? Height, yes. But, okay, Sebastian. Do both triangles have the same have same height? Uh, no, 9.6 9 on one. Then, so I'm going to call this height one and height two. But you're right, it is height. Uh, so everyone, this is height one, which means this is height two. OK, do you remember what we call these? Come on, what do you call these? It's a rectangle. What do you call it for a rectangle? Length and width. Obviously, the long one is the length. The short one is the width. Done. That's it. OK, let's look at the equation. Let's look at the equation. Where is the pyramid? I think it was the second page. Yes, there we go. 
This guy. Everyone, this equation, LW, LH1, WH2. Okay. Sorry, other one. Okay, SA equals LW plus LH1 plus W. H2, okay, equal. Uh, what's my L? It's 12. What's my W? It's 11. Plus, what's my L? It's 12 again. What's my height 1? What was height 1? 9.6, sure. It was random. We could have made the other one height 1. Plus 11 times, what was the other height? 10. All right, those are not super bad numbers. This is 132. This is uh, 9.6, 9, 12, 11, 115, 2.2, .2 plus 11 times 10 is 110. And that's it. Oh, uh, uh, Peter, what's the unit? Millimeters squared. Thank you. That's a whole piece. All right, uh, 132 plus 115.2 plus 110. 